Hi, I'm Lisa, and welcome to bar. So for today's class, you'll need your chair, a set of weights, a ball, and one glider. All right, so let's get started. Hang on, got my mat upside down. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna get started in a second position. Let's plie it out. Down, lift, down. Okay, so we're going to get ready. We're going to be stepping side to side from second to first. Left leg's going to come in first into that first position, and then we're going to step out to the other side. A couple more of these. Down, up. Okay, here we go. Step it in, and step it over, in. So I'm keeping <coughs> A bend in my knees, stepping into second and first, not coming all the way up. Okay, let's hold it over here, plie, down, up. Okay, so outside leg, left leg, we're going to scissor that leg across in front and take it to a plie. Here we go. Take it down. Now lift that leg up, scissor. So I have a little bit of a bend in my knee. I'm pointing my toes. And the inside of my leg is pointing up towards the ceiling. Down, lift. Use your abs to lift that leg up. Okay, so we're going to switch this to a plie. Legs going to lift out to the side. Okay, one more of these. Down, lift. So you're pressing your weight into this right leg to help you lift that leg up. Point through your toes, reach long. Don't worry about the height. Okay, we're going to get right into my knees. So we're going to do a plie, a scissor, and then a plie. Side leg lift. All right, here we go. Take it down. Down, scissor. Down, lift. Down, plie. So we're working the thigh here. Side glute. A couple more. Then we're going to go from second to first again. One more each. All right, take it back to plie, down and up. Okay, so we're kind of starting off with cardio right off the bat here. Catch your breath. Down, up. Okay, this time, right leg is going to step over. All right, here we go. Down, step, down. Down, step. Okay, so this time we'll be holding it on the right side. A couple more of these though first. Down. So heels are finding each other in that first position. Next one, I'll hold it to the right. Okay, take it down and up. Down, up. Okay, right leg is gonna come across in that scissor kick, plie to scissor. Three more, three. Two, last one. Okay, now plie, lift it up. Down, lift. Four more. Then I'll take you to the side. Last three. Okay, plie, leg lifts up. 
So shift your weight over to the left. Take this knee bend. And reach that leg. Energy through the leg from your hip all the way down to your toes. Three, lift. Two, all right, let's combine. Plie, scissor. Plie, lift. Down, reach. Down, lift. Down, out. Four, up. Down, lift. Three. Two. Last one here. Come back to that second position, plie. Down, up. Okay, four more. Four. So legs are good and warmed up now. <laughs> one more time, hold it low. Little pulses lift. Lift. Eight. Eight more. Eight. Seven, four, three, two. All right, walk it in. Okay, so feet parallel. We're gonna come down to a squat with an arm punch, starting with your left arm. So bring your elbows by your sides. As we stand, we're gonna punch across. Now, other arm comes across. So we're starting to wake up the obliques here and the arms. Down, punch. Okay, we're going to add a leg, tap back. Starting with this left leg, as we punch and come up, tap. Other side, tap. So twist through the torso here and reach that leg straight back. Okay, now this one we're going to hold. Bring your arms out in front. Okay, even out your hips. Point through your toes and we lift. Down. Lift. Down. Bend in the standing knee. If you have your chair if you need it. Lift. And up. So really squeeze the back of your leg here. Eight. Seven. That's four. Four. Then we're back to the squats with the punches. One more time. Okay, bring it down. This time as we stand, we punch with the right arm. Down, punch. And punch. Okay, so we're going to add... The leg taps back. Starting with the right leg. Okay, this time, reach it back. And tap. So just touching your toes to the ground. Pushing back through your heel. Okay, one more at each side. Okay, now step that right leg back, hold. Reach your arms out in front. Bend the standing knee. Let's lift that back leg. Lift. Tap it down. Okay, we have eight more. Eight. Shoulders are drawing down your back. Seven. Six. Four more, four, three, two. All right, step it back up into that squat. Sink it down, little presses down. Press back through your heels, maybe even lift up your toes here to push that weight back. Seven, six, four, three, two, Last one. Come on up. Step that left leg back. 
Bring your hands to heart center for a stretch. So press back through this back heel. And then let's twist over that front knee. Just take a stretch. All right, coming up, let's go to the other side, right like that. So straighten out this back leg as much as you can so that you feel a stretch at the back of that leg. And then twist. All right, come on back to center. Step it up. Let's do a figure four. Switch other side. All right, so we're going to grab onto our weights. Okay, let's come into first position. So heels together. Toes turned out. Now pretend like you're zipping up the zipper. So you're standing up tall, your shoulders down your back, belly in, elbows by your sides. So we're going to start with those V arms. So we're going to take it out for two, bring it in for two. Here we go. Take it out. One, two, back, two. So flatten your feet out against the floor. And I only say that. So you have that strong foundation. Lots of times I notice mine are kind of crunched up, crinkled up, holding on. So see if you can relax your feet a little bit there. Back, back, push. All right, let's single it out. Push, in. Reach, pull in. Okay, keep squeezing your legs. You're squeezing your thighs, squeezing your glutes. Reach. In, eight, seven, last four, four, three, last one. Okay, so bring your elbows in. This time we're going to go straight out in front. We start with the twos first. Take it out. One, two, back, two, push, push, in. In. Push, reach. All right, so this is the part where your arms and shoulders might be talking to you a little bit. And that's what we want. Okay, let's single it out. Push. Rest of your body still. So plant your feet down. There your anchor. Push. In. Okay, last five, five, pull in, four, two, last one, bring it down, roll out the elbows, <clears throat> okay, we're going to take those arms right back up, we're going to do a cross, cross, hold, doesn't matter which arm, cross, cross, let's open it wide, cross, cross, open, Cross, cross, open. Okay, so let your muscles do the work here. Not momentum. It's really easy to swing back. So instead, push back. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross. Okay, one more time. Now open out to the sides, bicep curl. Down, curl. Strong arms. Eight more, curl. That's four. Three. Okay, last one. Take it down. A little bit of a rest 
here. We're going back to the cross, cross hold. And instead of opening it wide to the sides, we're going to keep it small. So a little bend in your um, knees this time. Reach your arms out in front. You can also do this down here if you need to. Okay, here we go. Cross, cross, little open. Cross, cross, open. Squeeze. Cross, cross, open. Okay, so shoulders are down away from your ears. Feel your upper back here. And that little squeeze of the chest. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross, open. Okay, now hold the open here. We're gonna bicep curl left arm. Add a plie, right arm. Curl, extend. Curl, reach. All right, one more alternating. Now we're going to use both arms at the same time. Curl, reach. All right, are you feeling your arms, your arms and shoulders? I hope so. Knees are tracking out to the sides, and then you're standing up tall. Okay, four more. Four, three, two, last one. Bring it down. Roll it out. Okay, let's step it out a little wider. Second position. Sink it down. Arms are going to come out in front with the palms facing. So, press your shoulders down. Like I have my hands on your shoulders, and I'm just pressing them down, and then reach your arms out in front. So this is really small. We're going to push open. The tiny pulses out. Push, push. Open. Four, three, two. Okay, now hold it here. Little presses in, little squeezes in. Push, push. You got it. Keep going. Almost there. Push, push. Let's do four more. Then we're going to combine. Three, two, last one. Okay, one little open, one little push in, out, in. Whew. All right. This is tough. Push in. Out, out. Squeeze. Eight more. Eight, seven, four, three, two, last one. Okay. Go ahead and roll it out. All right, let's step the feet in parallel. We're going to inch it forward from the hips. Turn your pinkies to face up. Okay, little lifts here. So this is going to get into the triceps. Just look down at the floor, try and keep the tension out of your neck. Lift, up, up, up. Eight, seven, four, three, two, last one. Okay, bring it down, step back with the left leg. Okay, so we're gonna hinge forward here, bend in the elbows, we're gonna do a fly. So we're gonna lift it up for three little lifts and then bring it down for one. Okay, so we are right in front of that thigh. Here we go. Three, two, one, down. Squeeze, resist. Three, two, one, down. So I want you to press back through your shoulders. 
when you squeeze and feel your chest, your collarbone reaching side to side with that squeeze. Three, two, one, down. Three. Lift, up, up, down. Okay, we're gonna hold this up. Little lifts. Eight more, eight, seven, four, three, two, last one. Now bring it down and roll up to the center. Okay, let's switch other side. Okay, we hinge it forward, turn the pinkies up, little pulses up, up. Eight more, eight, seven, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and bring it down. Okay, bend your elbows. This time we're gonna do singles. <clears throat> one up, one down. Here we go, lift and down. Up, down. So pretend that you have a feather or a penny between your shoulder blades. And when you lift your arms, you're squeezing that spot. Lift, down. Eight, seven, Last four, four, then we pulse it. Then we're giving our arms a break. Pull this one up, lift it up, lift. Eight more, eight, seven, four, three, two, last one. Bring it down, set your waist down, and then roll back up to the center, all right. Shake it out. Bring your arms behind your back. Interlace to the stretch. All right, let's take this left arm behind. And switch to the other side. And then just let your arms swing here, release any tension. Probably a lot of tension. <laughs> I think I, I think I helped you forget you had legs, but man, your arms, you know you have them now. So we're gonna switch, we're gonna work on the legs for a little bit. Give the arms a break. You much deserve break. Okay, move your weights off to the side, and we're gonna take the mat, and just move that pretty far out of the way away from your chair. And you're going to need your glider. Okay. So glider is going to come underneath of your outside foot. We're going to start out in the second position. And you can do this without the glider if you'd like. So heels and toes turn out. Your toes and the ball of your foot are going to come down onto that glider. So we're going to start out with a seventh position plie, coming down for two, and then up for two. All right, here we go. One, two, down, down, up, up. Down, down, up. Up. So this is all going to be thigh work to start. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. All right, let's single it out. Down, up, down, up. Down, lift. Squeeze the back of your legs. Down, up. Four, three. Okay, now sink it down. Little pulses up. Lift, lift. 
Right, so keep your whole thighs engaged here as you squeeze up. Tailbone's reading down. Okay. So we're going to start to move with the glider. We're going to go from second to first. Heels are going to stay down. Eight, seven, four, three, two. Okay, now bring it down. Slide it over into first. Then take it back out. So heels going to come up just a little bit to help you press into the ball of your foot and your toes so that you can move the glider. You're going to feel this on your standing leg, and it's not going to take long. Keep this knee bent. Bring your heels together. The chest is lifted. A couple more. That's two. Take it back out the second. We hold it here. Sink it down. Knee press back. Push, push. So this is really good. This is like conditioning. Um, when you do these kind of poses, or like in yoga, when you do a goddess pose, to try and keep your knees open. Really common for the knees to kind of buckle in. So this is like practice, these side press backs, to help keep your legs open. All right, eight, seven, four, three, two, Okay, now we're going to take it back in, but we're going to take it to a relevant. So as you come in, lift your heels. Take it back down. Lift. So you're bending, coming back into that second position of the A. Lift. And lift. Keep it going here. Inside leg is strong. Okay, let's do the last four. Four. Three. Two. All right, now take it out. Second position. Lift your heels up. Little pulses. Lift. 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 Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, four, three, two. Drop your heels down. Okay. We're going to do a combo second to first. Heels flat. Then we're going to take it out. Then we're going to lift up releve and down. So heels flat. Take it out. Releve. Heels down. In. So we're going kind of slow here, which is absolutely fine. Okay, now lift up and take it down. Lift. Bring it in. Lift up and down. And lift it up and down. Last one here. Take it in flat. Lift up. Hold it here. Little presses down. If you need to, heels can come down. But you're tall. It's like you have a string at the top of your head. And somebody's pulling you up. Or a book on your head, right? We're like models here with a book on our head. Don't let it drop. Lift. Lift. Two. Okay, last one. Go ahead and drop it down. Shake it out. We are going to get that on the other side, but we're going to work the glutes a little bit first. So you're going to turn towards your chair. Okay, so your collider is underneath of your left foot. It's the same foot you were working. Okay, so we're going to stabilize through the other leg. It doesn't have the glider. Bend the knee just a little bit. Okay, and we're going to take it back into a lunge. So really press back here. Hold it here for a sec. You don't have to be as low as I am, especially if you have a knee issue. Keep up a little bit. 
Now press into that front heel to lift you up. Take it back, hold. Squeeze, lift. Down. And lift. Okay, so let's take it a little bit faster. Take it back. Lift. Okay, last four. Four. Three. Two. Now pull this one back. Little lifts up, little pulses. So hips are still facing towards your chair. Weight is in this opposite leg. Squeeze that outside glute. Lift it up. 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 Three. Two. Okay, now legs stay back, but we're going to hinge forward onto the chair. Point your toes back. Lift that leg up. Tap it down. So feel your legs strong here, your glutes strong. Feel that squeeze. You're pushing your hamstring up towards the ceiling. So feel that squeeze and how strong your legs are. Okay, next one we lift and hold. Little lifts, squeeze, squeeze. So if this bothers your back at all, it should come up higher. But picture squeezing the back of your leg. That's gonna keep the work out of your back. Lift, lift. Eight more, eight, seven, there's an end in sight. Four, three, Two, last one. Okay, take your glider off to the side. Walk it back. Take your right leg across for a figure four. All right, so the good news is we forgot about our arms, which is good. And now we can definitely feel our legs. And then take that leg down into a hamstring stretch. All right, come on back up. Let's take the chair over to the other side. Lift. 
Okay, so we're going to do that combo, second to first. <clears throat> but we're going to keep the heels flat. Two, hold it. Okay, so placing your weight into your inside leg, slide across and back out. Slide and out. So there's really not much weight in this outside leg. It's mostly over here. Down, heels together. Okay, two more. Then we hold it in second. Okay, the knee press back, push, push. Lift your chest up. Root your tailbone down. Heart center stays lifted. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, eight more, eight, seven. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, this time you take it to releve. Lift up and then heel flat. Second to first, down, lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. For three, get ready to hold it in second. Last one. Now sink it down. Then lift the heels up. Little lifts. Up, up. All right, let's do eight more. Eight, seven, four, three, two. Heels come down. Okay, combo. Second to first, heels flat. Take it back out. Now we're going to lift up into that releve. Take it back down. Heels flat and out. So if you want to add your arm here, we can give them a break for a little while. <clears throat> Feel free to do that. Lift. And take it over. Lift. Bring it in. Okay, hang in. We're almost done these. Lift up and bring it in. All right, last two. All right, last one of each. Heel flat. Lift up all day and take it back down. Great job. Okay. Keeping the uh, glider right where it is and then turn towards the chair. <clears throat> okay, so we start with that lunge back. We're going to do four slow and hold. Take it back, hold. And then press, lift back up. Take it back. One more time here. Then we'll take it a little faster. Hold. And lift it back up. Okay, just, just a little bit faster, or you can keep it at that slow speed, doesn't matter. Take it back. Pull up. Okay, reach back. So sink down, press this leg back. As straight as you can. Three. Two. Now hold it back here. Maybe not quite as low because we're going to lift up here. So weight into the front foot. Little lifts up. Lift. Squeeze. Up. Up. All right, we got it. Four more. Four, long spine here. Two, last spot. Now, hinge forward onto your chair. Slight bend in the standing knee. Even out your hips 
And we're going to lift that back leg up and down. Lift and lower. Last eight. Squeeze. Almost there. Four more. Four. Then we pulse it out. Three. Two. Hold it up. Little squeezes. Okay, eight more, eight, seven, four, three, two, last one. Okay, take that glider off to the side, step it back. Okay, so your left leg is going to come across as we take that stretch. Okay, and then take that same leg out to the front hamstring stretch. Sit back. So use your chair here to kind of press back. All right, come on up. Let's move the chair out of the way and we're going to put the mat back. So standing out. And then we're going to come to the mat for more abs. Mat abs. Okay. Okay, so you're going to need your weights. We are done with the glider. So sit that off to the side. Throw it away, burn it, whatever you want to do. Okay, come out into second position here. And we're going to sink it down. Weights are going to come out to the front like a beach ball. So your elbows are bent. You take it down, lift. Down, lift. Okay, so we're going to twist to the left, down, up. Now sink it down, hold. Twist to the left, come back to center. So keep the twist, legs are steady. So remember your knees here, and that work that we just did with trying to keep the knees from buckling in. So really press down through your feet to keep your legs open. Okay. Let's add a heel lift. Left heel lifts as you twist. Twist. Okay, last four. Four. Three. Two. All right, so we're going to combine. We're going to do a plie. And then twist, heel lift. Down, little up. Twist. So this left elbow as you twist, you're pressing that back. If there's somebody behind you and you're going to punch them with your elbow. Lift and down. Down, up, twist. Down, up, twist. Okay, two more. All right, come back to center. Weight's right above your shoulders, and we push it down. Little pulse is down. Okay, so we're going to switch this. We're going to come down for three, lift up for one, and the weights are going to extend up on that lift. Okay, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, reach. Three. Three, two, one. One, reach. Three, two, one, up. One more time. Three, two, one, stretch, and bring it down. Okay, so weight back in center, we plie. We're gonna get the other side, then we're coming down to the floor. Four more. Three. Last one. Now sink it back down. Just the twist. And center. So feel that squeeze there. Each side of the waist. 
So we're sculpting that waist. Three more. Then we're going to add a heel lift. Okay, this time. So as you come over, heel lifts. And then heel flat. Okay, four more. Then we do the combo. Three. Two. All right, last one. Down a little up. Lift the heel and down. Down, little up, down. All right, we are almost there, guys. Hang in. I know it gets tough, but you're tough, and I know you can do it. I'm still smiling, <laughs> even if I'm forcing myself to. So you guys smile, too, because you're almost done. Twist. Let's do two more. All right, bring it back to center, heels flat, weights above the shoulders. Down and up, down and up. Okay, so we're gonna come down for three and then extend up. Let's do four more of these. Okay, take it down. Three, two, one, reach. So when we do those twists, we're crunching the side, which is really great, but it's also great to extend through the sides so that you have that mobility through the sides and the spine. Four more. Three, two, one, lift. Okay, last two. Last one. And lift. Go ahead and set the weights down. Okay, so take your legs out wide. Let's take a stretch before we come down. Hands to your thighs and bring it down. Turn to look out over that left shoulder. And then the right. So back over to side to side. Release any tension in the lower back, side of the body. All right, let's come back to center. Little round up and then a flat back down. So we're just like a standing cat cow. Okay, now let's roll up through the center. Walk your feet in. Grab into your ball. So weights can go off to the side. And we'll just need the ball to finish here. Okay, so feet flat, knees bent. Okay, so balls can come underneath of your right hand. Do your other hand behind your head and press your lower back to the ground. So really press this right hand into the top, onto the top of the ball, and we're going to twist here over to that side. So you're going to roll the ball away and pull it in. Twist and center. Okay, last four. Four. Roll. Pull back. Last one. Okay, rest your head down. So same thing, but we're going to add a right knee lift as we roll the ball. Okay, so hand behind your head, but you have the option. You can... Keep your head down here and just move your body to the side. But I think it's a little easier when you lift your head. Okay, so as we twist over, we're going to lift our knee. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Okay, last four. Four. Three. Okay, rest it down. Ball comes between your ankles. Squeeze in on that ball. Head up or down. You're going to pull your knees in as you keep that squeeze. And then extend the legs. 
So, lower back should be flat on the mat. If it's not, take your legs up higher. So you have to take mine up a little bit higher. I can't really come out too much on that angle, or I can feel it in my back. Okay, pull in, reach, in, reach. Okay, four, reach, three. Okay, this one you're gonna hold it up. Squeeze it in, eight, seven. You're squeezing all the way from your hip, so your leg is one unit here. Squeezing in, everything together. Last one, okay, rest it down. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. You can stay like you are, I'm just gonna move so you can see my side. Okay, ball underneath of the left hand. Right hand behind your head, lift up. Okay, so we start with just that little slide, pull back. So we're not really going up, like a sit up. This is more just a slide to the side. Okay, last four, four, three. Okay, rest it down. Just turn your head side to side, release tension there in the neck. Okay, so knee lift. We're gonna be lifting that left knee. Okay, head comes back up. So roll that ball away, crunch. So maybe seeing, this is the second side, so maybe seeing if you can bring that knee in a little bit more, this time towards your chest. But we're keeping our mid-back, mid-back, lower back, on the mat. Okay, last four, keep reaching. Four, three, last one, rest it down. Maybe turn your head side to side. Okay, ball between your ankles. Head up or down, squeeze in on the ball. I'm gonna lift my head up. Okay, we're gonna do the pull in with the knees, extend up. Okay, eight more, eight, press, seven. Okay, last four, three. Two. Now hold the legs out, squeeze this in for eight, seven, four, three, two. Last one. Go ahead and release it down, grab a hold of your ball, rock side to side. Okay, let's take a twist. Just let go of your ball. All right. Lower the knees to your right. Extend your arms out. And then lower to the other side. Okay, bring your knees back up to center. Let's extend the right leg. Grab wherever you can reach here. It might be the back of your thigh, maybe onto your calf. Up. 
and then lean over that knee. And then half split. All right, bring that foot down, come all the way up. Turn back towards me, let's bring the hands, jean pocket hands. Lift your chest up, take a breath. All right, let's take three breaths. Great job, guys. Inhale and exhale. All right, last one. <clears throat> great job, I made it. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Have a great day.